everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this is another English video. Um, it's been almost seven months that I'm making videos in English and I'm fascinated by how much you love them and the support you're giving me. It was a good change for me at the beginning to um, start making videos in English and see how people react to them. And in time, I saw that so many of us have the same problem with English, speaking, and not being confident, being shy about it. I think you shouldn't be ashamed of your accent or how you talk or your pronunciation like this. <laughs> Maybe I can inspire you. I read all your sweet comments. Thank you so much for them because you not only encouraged me to do more English videos, but other people to speak English and be confident with themselves. Basically, you don't know the person you're talking to. There's no need to be embarrassed or be shy. It's a lot of fun. Just challenge yourself. Yeah. Handmade? Everything, is, Everything handmade. is handmade. Except me. This video is sponsored again by Cambly. And for those who don't know about Cambly, it is basically a startup founded in San Francisco and has over 6 million users. If you want to improve your English, maybe study for exams like IS or TOEFL, you can have grammar lessons or you can have chats with different people about the topics you want to talk about. These tutors are chosen people with certificates and you can contact them whenever you want, when you're available. And all the sessions you're having with the tutors are recorded on the system so you can go back and watch them over and see your mistakes. And also there's a version of Cambly for children. Cambly Kids is basically for kids to learn English or improve themselves. If you want to give Cambly a try, you can basically download to your phone or use a computer to speak to a tutor you chose for 10 minutes with the code on the screen right now. And thank you so much for your support and um, please share your experiences with me if you give it a try. So let's get started to the video. And I haven't told you anything about the video we're doing today, but you've already seen it on the thumbnail, but whatever. So we're going to be doing a q and I wanted some questions from you on my Instagram page for my stories and you asked me a lot of questions so we're basically going to go through them and pick them randomly I guess. Let's get started. Let's start with a question like related to the topic we were talking about. How old were you when you started learning English? And I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just correcting some mistakes I see, but that's okay. I was six and a half, I guess, or seven, basically first grade at school. I was going to a private school, so we had like hours of English lessons. It was a good foundation for me to learn the grammar and everything. Basically, it was my favorite lesson from the start, I guess. But um, when I was in middle school, like 12 or 13, I started preparing myself for the Oxford exams. They were called like Pat and Cat and I don't remember, but they were the classic Oxford exams and I was always passing with merit. I remember that. Yeah, I guess they helped me a lot, the exams, because they were like speaking, writing and everything. And I didn't had almost any English classes in high school, but um, as I said, I had a good foundation, so I could improve myself by listening to a lot of English music and like, watching shows and everything in English. And I was constantly reading dictionaries. I know it sounds really nerd, but I was a nerd at school. Is there another language that you can speak? Uh, <laughs> I can't say that I can't speak Spanish, but un poco. Un poco espanol. When I'm watching something like La Casa de Papel or something, I understand most of the things, but I can't speak. So I feel you if you feel the same way with English. How do you motivate yourself when you're frustrated and feeling down? This is a good question actually, because um, it's hard. I have come to a conclusion that if I want to keep my mind off of something, I have to keep myself busy, whether it is filming a video or whether it's working on something else, whether it's working out, even though I don't like it a lot, but it keeps my mind off of things. I avoid talking a lot about it, pull myself into the situation a lot more, 
maybe reading or watching something. But sometimes it doesn't help because you still think about the things you are dealing with. What is your favorite Netflix series right now? Lately, I have watched La Casa de Papel, Stranger Things, Dark, and lately I've started watching The Affair. I know it's like kind of an old show, but um, I like the way they filmed the show because they're basically two main characters and they're using their point of views to film the situation in two parts. That makes sense and I like it a lot. If you want to live in a city in Europe, which one would it be and why? I think I wouldn't live any other city than Istanbul. I mean, my favorite city in the world is Los Angeles, um, but it's in the US, of course. I mean, I love Paris, I love so many European cities, but I'm not like in love with them that I want to live that, there. I think there, there isn't one. I, I think Istanbul is more beautiful than all of them. What celebrity would you want to be for one day? Of course, Kanye West. I, I want to know how his brain works and be around the Jenners and Kardashians all the time. I'm not surprised that he's kind of insane. All jokes aside, I love how his brain works and I, I think he's very, very talented about everything he does, like from his clothing line, to his music and to all the things he produced and I, I love him a lot so yeah I would like to be Kanye for one day. <laughs> Who is right? Rachel or Ross? Were they really on a break? Of course Rachel was right and they were not on a break. I mean technically they were on a break but it, that doesn't mean that Ross could like cheat on her. It is still cheating in my opinion so Rachel was right. But I love Ross more than Rachel. Do you have any guilty pleasures? <laughs> uh, I like to listen to a lot of trashy rap music, like German rap, but the like, worst ones, <laughs> you know? I love listening to them in the car and like all my friends are like, what? What is your weirdest habit? Let me think about that. Some people notice it when I'm doing it. When I'm thinking about something, I start to write on air like, like this. And I can't help it, like I can't stop. What are your plans for the future? What is your biggest dream? You know what I don't know my biggest dream is? Um, because dreams are, in my opinion, always changing and evolving. When you do something, when you success, you want another thing or you want that still but the bigger version of it i have accomplished a lot as long as my dreams which is great but i have so much in my mind i can't say this is my biggest dream or i want to do this i want to do so many things when it comes to my plans for the future business wise influencer marketing because i know that i'm very um, passionate about it and I know a lot. When did you adopt your dogs? The big one, Sirius Black. We adopted him two years ago, two-ish years ago. And the little one, Sarah Snape, we, have, we adopted him, I guess, five months ago. And uh, let me tell you something, two dogs. Uh, just consider it again if you're ever thinking about getting two dogs at the same time. It is great in many ways, but right now they're not getting along, like not getting along at all. So we are keeping them in separate rooms and it's quite hard for us and for them. Right now, Snape is on our terrace and Sirius is upstairs in the bedroom. How was the One Love Festival? It was good. It was like nostalgic. It wasn't that good compared to the other festivals that I've been to, but it was still a festival in Istanbul. So there were so many friends of mine and I was constantly bumping into someone I know. It was a good energy. Who would you rather, Chandler or Joy? Is it like who would you rather be Chandler or Joy or who would you rather like kiss Chandler or Joy? I don't know. Maybe we should pick kiss. 
definitely Joey. Even though he's dumb, he's very handsome in my opinion. I, I, I had a kind of a crush on him when I was watching the show back then. What kind of books are you reading lately? <laughs> Believe me or not, but I'm constantly reading Harry Potter series. Like It's a lifestyle for me. But other than that, of course, I have been reading books about how to give a good speech or how to talk in public or like leadership, like business, like motivation, not motivational, not self-improvement, I, I hate them, but books about like creating a business or having a startup or something. And they help me a lot, by the way, because it's important for me to improve myself on stage because I have so many opportunities to go on stage and talk to lots of people. Somebody asked me about an embarrassing moment. If I have an embarrassing moment, of course I have a lot of embarrassing moments. There is one moment in my life and I think about it instantly. I was in a bathroom, a public bathroom in an, I don't know, in a mall or something. And <laughs> somebody came next to me and said hi. And I said hi too, because I, I, I thought she was a subscriber of mine or something, a follower of mine or something, or she knows me, I don't know. And I said, hi, and I said, like, how are you and everything? And she was like, struck and like, giving me a weird look. <laughs> this is so embarrassing, oh my, oh my God. And I asked her if she wants to take a picture with me or not. <laughs> and she was like, what? And then I realized that she had an AirPod in it in her ear she was on the phone oh my god she doesn't even know me and she thinks that i'm a beardo and i just ran out of the toilet and yeah hmm. what is your favorite thing about the harry potter series there are a lot of things that i love about the series it is a safe place for me it is my childhood it is my teenage years it is my younger self it is like a dream but in a good way and it's like my reality too because i believe in that world like i'm 28 i know and i still believe in that world exists it's always a safe place for me to go and take my mind off and feel kind of home and every time i read a page or watch 10 minutes of a movie i feel like i'm i'm home and i'm safe and i'm happy again and i think that's the favorite thing about it it always like always makes me happy advantages of being famous even though i don't label myself as a famous person okay let me give you some examples if there isn't a table available in a restaurant and the owner or a waiter i don't know and knows me, recognizes me, they will arrange something for us. And I appreciate it a lot. Or like when I'm shopping, I like something, but I can't find my size because there isn't any of my size. And if somebody recognizes me, they help me and find my size basically. So there are some things, some advantages I have as a famous person. What do you think of Yenidan and Bakjam? Is he successful? Of course he's successful. By the way, I love the song. I listen to it in my car. And I think the music video is great too. And I love Back Jump too. He's a good friend of mine. We have a video. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it over there. Of course he's successful. And there, there were some questions about Rain Man too, but I can't find them now. It was basically the same thing. What do you think about the like Rain Man? Is he successful? And of course, I think he is successful in He's doing great. It's not about whether you like the songs he make or not. It's the numbers and the impact and the power of social media, the power of him. We're not like best friends. We met one time, I guess, but he was so kind and I liked him. What makes our friendship with Bushra so special? Can you tell specific memories about it? There are a lot of memories. Thousands and thousands of memories of us. She has been my best friend, like bestest friend for 10 years. It is a long time to say the least. We've been through a lot of things. I think it's important to be direct and open to your close friends or to the people in your circle, I guess. We're always open to each other 
and that's the key in our relationship. We have a lot of fun, but I know that I can go to her when I'm feeling upset or angry to something. She's always there. I know that and she knows that I'm always there no matter what, no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing that day. I will always make time for her and vice versa. I think it's hard to keep the relationship as it was years ago because we were going to college or just graduated from high school, I guess, not even college. A lot has changed over the years. She's a different person now, but she is the same to me, if you know what I mean. That's the hardest part to keep up with. But at the same time, if you really care for somebody, always have time and you always keep them priority. Is he okay? Okay, well. Dennis and you are close friends, first of all, but you are colleagues. Have you ever debated each other? I think this is your fake account. Even if you want to like fight with her, you can't because she's always positive and she's always kind. And it's important to me because I'm not always positive. I don't see everything on the bright side at all times. We're more like friends than colleagues. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I'm very upset that she's leaving soon. So. Yeah, we don't want to cry again, but she's going to chase her dreams and she's going to study abroad. So these are our last videos we're filming together. I know that I'm never going to replace her. I'm never going to find somebody like her. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a new manager and a new assistant. Who is your best YouTuber friend? I don't categorize my friends as YouTubers or not YouTubers, but I think Damla is my best YouTuber friend, best famous friend, um, Damla Bilic. He's so bored and upset, so we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope it was somewhat entertaining or I don't know what else to say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.